Hello everyone, and in this video we are going to be walking through how you can save the data frames that you create in R2 files on your actual disk. And so when you're in RStudio or R, you'll be creating these files and they're all living in memory or your RAM. And so if you wanted to save this stuff for later, if your computer has to turn off for instance, um, this is how you do it and if you want to export this stuff also is another use case like if you want to open this up in Excel and do some other functions or visualizations there you can so um, what I'm going to do is walk through uh, the steps that are provided on this website I'll provide a link in the description um, it's a really great resource um, but basically what you do line by line here is we're just creating a very basic um, uh, vector so we're creating three vectors of equal length. So these are all 10 arrays basically um, of integers. And then we're going to put these three vectors into a matrix using the CBind function. And you also define the order um, as you're seeing on the screen here on line six. And then finally, what we're gonna do is we're gonna convert this matrix into a data frame using the data.frame method. Uh, and these are all built in R functions, so you don't need to install any external packages or libraries to do this. So now we've got an actual data frame to play with. And so I'm just going to double click on this guy so we can look at this. This is what uh, RStudio gives us as a little UI for what our data frame looks like. And so if you know you just did your work and you want to save this or do something else, um, this is how you would do it. Um, and before I forget, we're also going to be creating a text vector. Um, and then we're going to be appending this into this uh, data frame. So we should see that our uh, data frame was added in. And I'm not looking at the correct variable, I apologize. So data frame here um, now has this additional column here. So if you wanted to do that, that's how you would do it. Um, and so yes, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually save this file. And so um, you can save it as an R data file um, or as a CSV. And it's up to you whichever one you go with. The R data files are gonna be a little bit faster in the sense that you just click on the file and it should automatically open up R Studio and put it into your global environment, which is what your memory is right now, your RAM. Um, so if you wanna do that and you just run this line and then um, in your computer um, you should see a file appear in your uh, working directory so in my case this is my username and then documents folder and then I can see that I have this R data file right here that was just created um, and so that means that we've now saved our data frame right here from our global environment into our uh, hard disk or our solid state drive and so um, alternatively what you can do is you can write this as a CSV so just call write.csv pass in the data frame pass in the file and um, that's how you do it you can also use the write.table method however it will be a lot trickier to get alignment between the um, header and the actual columns um, and so that's something that can be a little bit tricky to deal with. So I'll show you. Um, so let's say you wanted to export this to CSV. You just run that line right there. And um, now if we go here and then we open up that CSV file that was just saved, um, we're going to see that it looks like this. And one of the things that I find annoying sometimes is that it includes the row number um, or the row name in this CSV that it saves. So if you wanted it to not do that, Basically, the way you do it is you pass in an additional argument to the write.csv method, and you say row.names gets f, or you can fully type out false. Um, either of those will work, and then you just run that. And uh, the reason it errors out right now is because I currently have this open in Excel, so I need to close it first. And now when I run this command, it can do it. And so now if we open back up our um, documents folder, which is our working directory. You can see it right here. And we're just gonna blow this up. And we can see that we've now got a more nicely formatted CSV file. So if you wanted to save this as an Excel SX file, you can just go to File, Save As, um, and that's pretty basic. And so, yes, uh, the and that'll wrap things up for this video. Um, I hope that this is helpful, and thank you all for watching, and 
take care.